Hello, everyone. Okay, we just finished uh, a Monday night coaching call. My name is Charles Dobbins. I am the multifamilyattorney.com and I'm the founder of the Multifamily Investing Academy. And uh, every Monday night, and this is what we're going to be, the, that's what these vlogs, uh, video uh, blogs are going to be about, is just a, a meeting after the meeting, a, a session after our Monday night coaching call, uh, which all the members of the owner forum uh, are, are members of, and they all were on uh, tonight's call. Uh, and uh, I just want to kind of give you an overview of, of some of the fun stuff we talked about just over the next 10 to 15 minutes, kind of give you uh, some great tips on multifamily investing uh, and how it worked, okay? Uh, what, t what we did today was predominantly um, the main, main focus of the meeting was uh, uh, to show people, you know, I had one of my students, I had a bunch of my students, I asked them, if you want to see me analyze a deal, online and I where well, you can take a look at it send me over a property package I will choose one and I will analyze it while we're on the call so that you can take a look at it and see how it uh, uh, you know see how I analyze the deal and we did a little small nine unit property not a big property uh, it was an easy one to take down if the guy wanted to do it and we just went on and uh, decided and uh, you know figured out uh, what what the valuation was what the real valuation was on that property uh, but leading into that I kind of want to tell you some of the tips that I gave my students uh, as they go through the process and here's here's the first tip never Never, never. It was like one of my uh, professors in law school, and he really wanted to stress something. He said it three times. Never, never, never. And he was from uh, from South Boston, so he had a wicked Boston accent. Never, never, never. Never share your analysis of a deal with a broker. Just don't do it. It's none of his business. It never benefits you. It, he's going to use it as a club over your head. It's none of his business what your cash on cash return requirements are for your investors. It's none of his business what you buy your cap rate, what cap rate you buy your properties at. Anytime I've given out the, the way I analyze a deal to a broker, they've always used it against me. So why do you give your enemy, because he is your enemy, he's on the other side. Why do you give your enemy bullets for his gun. Just don't do it. So that was one of the first things we talked about. And the reason why that came up was one of my students uh, was getting beat up by a broker. Why don't you just send me over your analysis so I can figure out where you're coming up with these numbers. She said, one time I did that, the broker came back and uh, so you know, what, what, what if you just changed your vacancy rate to from a 12, let's, if we made it an eight, and okay, all right, fine, let's make it an eight. This went back and forth. Before I knew it, the, the, the analyzing software that I was using matched the purchase price. And the broker said, see, it comps out. You should make an offer at that price. In other words, I made an offer, wasn't good enough for the guy, and he just used my numbers against me. And believe it, the seller didn't move an inch. His purchase price didn't change. So it never works out well for you. Make the offer that works for you and just move on if it doesn't work. All right. Uh, the next thing we talked about. Oh, I love this one. This was beautiful. This was beautiful. In the order form, I have certain mantras that I use. I teach people and I say one of them is the biggest lie in multifamily is the asking price. Just don't believe it. Because I have so many students like, oh, Charlie, I just did the analysis and uh, – I'm not coming anywhere near the purchase price. I don't know. I just can't get there. I'm never going to make it in this business because the guy wants $4 million and I can only come up with three on the cash uh, analyzer that we use. Um, sorry, I had a little bit of technical difficulties there because uh, that's our first vlog. So give us a little bit of credit here. So anyway, um, so biggest lie in multifamily is the asking price. Uh, you know, it's amazing what some of these brokers come back with. And the problem is that new investors looking in the multifamily business are, are always saying to themselves, I'll never make in this business. My numbers just don't make any sense. It, it's, it's killing me. Don't worry about it. When you understand the biggest lie in multifamily is the asking price, you're going to be fine. Just make the offer. Just make the offer that works for you. And I love this one because it came in from a student uh, and I really, really want to see her get uh, that, that deal or a deal under contract because she's just, she's doing great. She's making a ton of offers. 
um, she, she said, I originally wanted to offer 3.5 million. And now they're okay with 3.5 million. The original list price was 4.4 million. Now just think about that for a second. So within a month, the property just lost a million dollars of value? Seriously? I should wait another month. Her numbers were right the first time. It's the seller that didn't understand it. So make the offer that is right for you, okay? Now, the other thing, the final thing that we talked about, we actually talked about an hour. We had a whole bunch of stuff, and that's typically what we do every Monday night is you, we get on the call, the owner forum, with all the members of my owner forum group. It's a phenomenal, great group of people. I love them so much. They're so much fun. And we're going to get deals done. I am at their beck and call. If they need me, they call me. And that's the benefit of being the owner form. Uh, but the most fun is the camaraderie that we have on Monday night calls where we all get together and we all talk about what's going on. And uh, the next thing, and this I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, wrap up my first vlog uh, with this, uh, is the um, interest rates are changing. And we're going to talk more about that next week uh, on the vlog, on uh, our next vlog. We're also going to talk about it on the Monday night call. But as a result of the fact that interest rates are changing, that means the prices are changing because we're just buying cash flow. I could care less about the property. We're buying cash flow. And if the cost of the cash flow goes up, we've got to take that into consideration in our price. So it means that our returns are lower. So we've got to adjust our price. Sorry, that's just the way this goes. Uh, please don't use it as an excuse why you should not be getting into this business because think about the person who was the, the you know, your success, your, your, your mentor, your um, hero growing up uh, and, uh, and how they ended up owning a huge portfolio of multifamily deals. Uh, did they quit the business because interest rates went up? Hell no. They went out there looking for the best deals. That's the time to do it. More millionaires were made during the depression than at any other time because there were deals. So just keep that in mind, and that's how you're going to be a success in this business. So what, we're, what we talked about was as you're starting to look for more of these properties and as the interest rates start to go up, you've got to begin to stress the property. You've got to stress the deal. You've got to put more weight on the back of this property to make sure that the numbers comp out and you're buying it at the right price. You can fix anything on a multifamily deal except overpaying for it. If you overpaid for it, you might as well go drop the keys back in the bank, in the bank's desk. So make sure that when these interest rates are going up, that you're still stressing the property the right way. That means don't, don't put 20% down, put 25. Don't do a 30 year AM, do a 25. Don't do a four and a half percent interest rate, do five. If it's a C-class property, do five and a quarter, do five and a half, maybe even six, depending upon uh, the size of the deal but stress the property and make sure that the deal still works when the numbers change. I'm telling you right now, I've got some students that are uh, under contract and the deals, if, you know, they're finding out from some of the lenders that they're not able to get the interest rates that they were trying to get, they'd analyze the deal for. And so therefore they, uh, the deal might not be as good as they originally thought. Well, that's why we have a financing contingency in the deal. Uh, that's why we put that in there because, you know, if the if, that's why we have an inspection period. If the due diligence comes back and the property's not what we said it was, we get out of the deal. If the financing comes back and it's not what we what we said it was, we get out of the deal. We protect ourselves. So, thank you very much for joining me on my first vlog, and uh, I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. I'll be doing these uh, uh, every week. Uh, right after our Monday night coaching call. If you want to find out more about the Multifamily Investing Academy or our owner forum and how you can get involved uh, in any one of our programs, just go to multifamilyinvestingacademy.com and uh, you can find out more about it there. Sign on up and would love to have you. If you're looking to own a multifamily property in the next six months, you got to be a member of the owner forum. We take care of you. All right. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Charles Dobbins, signing off.